Hey guys, this is Eric Shady here today, and I'm bringing you guys the second part or episode on how to code a Minecraft hack client. In this uh, tutorial, we're going to be coding a flight hack and a no fall hack because what's the point of having a flight hack if you're going to take fall damage? So let's immediately jump right into this by creating a new module inside our modules package. So you're just going to create a new class, and let's call this one flight. You can call it fly, whatever you want, but I'm going to call it flight. We're going to create this new class and like every module we're going to extend the module class and then we're going to import it so we're going to do a public flight and then we're going to make a super or a constructor and in here goes the name of your hack so i'm going to be putting flight comma keyboard key so my computer didn't there we go uh key and we're going to be using r for this you can use whatever key you want, and we're going to put this under the category player, and we're going to end that. So you can assign this to whatever key you want, and you can call it whatever you want in here, because what's in here is what goes into um, get name. So that's what it will look like in game. So you can call it whatever you want. You can put it in whatever category you want. And if you don't know how to get any of this stuff, I recommend you go and watch uh, my first video on how to make a hack client where I set everything up. So anyways, getting back into making the flight hack, now we're going to make a public void on update, if I can spell. And then we're going to do if the opposite of the opposite of this dot gets date. Uh, return wrapper dot mc dot the player dot capabilities dot is flying is equal to true and then we're going to okay we already have the wrapper so we don't need to import that and then we're going to make a public void on disable and we're going to actually close the parenthesis parenthesis whatever the plural that is and we're going to do mc dot the player dot cap abilities dot is flying is equal to false and that should be the flight hack code so what we're going to do now is we're going to run the client and we're going to test out our flight hack to see if it works or not so like i said if you guys have no clue um how to get any of this stuff i recommend going to the first video which i will put in the description also, later on, when there's longer codes, like for example, Killara, I will uh, be putting that on GitHub because I'm pretty sure you guys wouldn't want to copy down around f over 50 lines of code. So yeah, let's just wait for Minecraft to load us in to the main menu. There it is. So we're going to open up our MCP world that is automatically created or handed to you and we are going to test out our flight hack so we're going to press r and oh i am an idiot we forgot to add it to our where is it module manager right you always want to add your modules to your module manager so we're going to put flight on top of sprint there we go now it should work by the way, whatever order you put these in is the order they will stack up on your screen. So what I'll do is I'll skip ahead to the point where I actually get into the game. So, yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm back. That took, like, no time whatsoever. So we're going to open up our world again. And we are going to hit the R key. And now, as you can see, we have fly activated. We can hold space and we're flying. And then when we press R again, we fall. And now, to show you that it isn't me double tapping space or anything, we're going to go into survival. You can see we can fly up really, really high. Let it go. And we die of fall damage. So, in order to fix the dying from fall damage, what we're going to do is we're going to code a no fall hack. So, what we're going to want to do now is obviously close out of this. And we're going to close out this notification. So, now. In order to make the nofall class like any other module, we're going to create a new class, and we're going to call this one nofall. And, yeah. 
whatever you want to call it, no fall damage, whatever, just, yeah. So we're going to obviously extend the module class, import that, and we are going to, okay, we're going to make the public no fall, and then we're going to make the super no fall, we're going to be using n for this, and then category dot player. So now it's going to be public void on update, and then when we're inside this. We're going to put if gets state if gets state if wrapper dot mc dot the player fall distance I believe it is is greater than two. F import the wrapper. We're going to import our wrapper. By the way, if you're wondering how I did that, you just uh, press Control Shift to know it. So if that's then return, well, it's not really a return statement. Uh, send queue because we're going to be sending a packet. I have to send queue. This is going to be new C03 packet player. And this is going to be true. I'm going to import that. All right, there we go. So basically, what this uh, module is doing is, when you enable the hack, what it's going to do is it's go obviously right here. If it's enabled, if your fall distance is greater than two, so if you are higher than two blocks, then the game is going to send. Well, your client is going to send the server or wherever you are a packet saying that you were on the ground. So when you actually hit the ground, you don't take any fall damage because it believes you were on the ground. So we're going to add this to our module manager. And we're going to paste it up here. And then we're going to launch the client. And we're going to see if our nofa hack works. So for the next video, I will be showing you guys how to make a brightness hack, and I will also be showing you how to, hmm, maybe how to edit the main menu text down here. I don't know. You guys can also leave suggestions on what you guys want to see in future videos. I will definitely cover x-ray in the near future. However, for now, I want to keep with more simpler things so you guys can follow along. So we're going to turn on no fall. We're going to fly up. We're going to stop. We fall, don't take fall damage. Now we're going to turn that off, start flying, fall, we take fall damage. So the hack is working. So now you can fly around and drop, and you'll take no fall damage. So yeah, that's how to code a no fall hack, and why is my game extremely bright? I don't know. Oh well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make a hack client, uh, part 2. In the next video, I'll be covering Brightness Hack, and I'll also be covering... I have decided and said I was going to cover... Oh, I just had it in my head, but I forgot. I lost my train of thought. Not a step hack. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll do a step hack, perhaps. I was going to do another one, but I completely forgot what I was going to make. I don't know, you guys will find out, but for sure, uh, Brightness Hack is going to be on that... So if I can actually spell and not get blown up by a creeper. Uh, so yeah. Um, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And leave your feedback. And again, leave what you guys want to see in the future. And I will definitely get to it. So yeah, see you guys later. Bye.